As we patiently, or maybe not so patiently, await our trip across the Spider-Verse, if you're anything like us, then you can't get enough info about the upcoming film. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will hit theaters on June 2nd, and this cast is going to be out of this world. From returning actors like Shameik Moore and Jake Johnson, to newcomers who we know and love like Daniel Kaluuya and Jason Schwartzman, this is one star-studded cast. Let's find out all the familiar voices we'll be hearing in this highly anticipated movie. Number 1. We all remember Shameik Moore's role as Miles Morales in the OG Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Of course, it just wouldn't be the Spider-Verse without him as the leading man. So he's returned as Miles Morales once again. You may also know more from the 2015 film Dope, Baz Luhrmann's drama The Get Down, or his current role as Raekwon in Hulu's Wu-Tang and American Saga. Besides his success as an actor, there's another clear reason why Moore transitioned so successfully into voice acting. Moore is also a singer and a rapper who released an album titled 30058 in 2015 and has made six singles since then. Since he's been with the franchise from the jump, Moore knows a thing or two about what makes the newest installment Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse so special. According to a recent interview, for him is the animation that makes this one even better than the first. He says, the animation really surprised me, they really upped it. I thought the first one was excellent. They doubled or tripled it up for sure. We're definitely excited to see that. Number 2. We're also excited to see Peter B. Parker back in action. Once again, we simply can't imagine this movie without Jake Johnson reprising his role. This time, Peter B. Parker is a dad, a role we can't wait to see him in. And who better to show us than Johnson, who originated the role? Besides Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, he's also appeared in movies 21 Jump Street, Neighbors, Tag, and Jurassic World. He also starred in the series Stumptown and currently stars in the series Minx. But you probably know him best as Johnson is most well known for his role as Nick Miller in the comedy series New Girl. Now, Nick Miller may not trust fish, and you just might agree with him, but we promise you can trust us. And we're telling you to like and subscribe to The Things Animated for all the best videos on your favorite animated content. Number 3. Haley Steinfeld is another returning actor from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The star will once again portray Gwen Stacy, aka Ghost Spider. Steinfeld has been acting since age 10 and earned an Academy Award nomination for True Grit in 2010. She's since appeared in Ender's Game, The Edge of 17, and the Pitch Perfect movies, as well as the series Dickinson. She's voice acted before as V in Arcane, and she's also no stranger to superhero flicks. She's currently Kate Bishop in the MCU. And like her co-star Shameik Moore, her voice is famous for more than voice acting. She's also a Billboard Music Award winning singer. Number 4. While this film has familiar faces, or should we say voices, returning from the original cast, it also has some very impressive A-listers joining the franchise for the first time. One of these newcomers is Oscar Isaac, who you surely know from one of his myriad major roles from Dune, Star Wars, and the MCU as Moon Knight to X-Men Apocalypse, X Machina, Annihilation, and Drive. Yes, Oscar Isaac is quite a busy actor, but that doesn't mean that this is the first chance he's had at voice acting. He provided the voice for Gomez Adams in the animated Adams Family franchise from 2019. Isaac's character, Miguel O'Hara, had a quick teaser at the end of Into the Spider-Verse, so fans weren't too surprised to see that this leader of the Spider Society will be joining the multiverse for this installment. We're pretty excited to see what this new addition to the franchise will bring to the table. Number 5. As for other new additions we're looking forward to, plenty of fans are excited to see this movie's big supervillain, The Spot. This villain uses portals that are all over his body to travel between different universes. That's certainly a pretty cool ability for a villain, and the actor portraying this villain is pretty cool too, though most folks were probably a little surprised to hear which actor got the gig. Jonathan Ahn, aka The Spot, will be played by none other than Jason Schwartzman. Jason Schwartzman is the nephew of famous filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, and he's got his fair share of credits himself. He's a regular cast member in the Wes Anderson Cinematic Universe, appearing in Rushmore, Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Isle of Dogs, and The French Dispatch. He also appeared in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Fargo, Bored to Death, and Mozart in the Jungle. Aside from his acting chops and recognizable voice, we think Schwartzman has enough experience with rather unorthodox animation to bring some interesting work to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, even if his usual style isn't what we expected for a Spider-Verse villain. Number 6. In another case of very good casting, Daniel Kaluuya will be playing Spider-Punk. We happen to think Spider-Punk is an especially cool version of Spider-Man, and it just so happens that Kaluuya is a great fit for a cool Spider-Man considering how cool he's been in some of our fave movies. Of course, he's famously starred in Jordan Peele's groundbreaking movies Get Out and Nope. 
Yet Kaluuya actually got his start on the British TV series Skins, followed by roles in Doctor Who and Black Mirror. He's since become an Academy Award winner for playing Fred Hampton in Judas and the Black Messiah. He also has a superhero film history. He played Wakabi in Black Panther. Number 7. Jessica Drew, aka Spider-Woman, is swinging into the franchise in this installment. She'll be played by Issa Rae, who both produced and starred in television series The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl and Insecure. She's also appeared in films The Hate You Give and The Photograph. She's voice acted previously as the mom in Hair Love, which took home the 2020 Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. It's clear that Issa Rae is having quite the year this year for acting in some seriously feminist content. Not only is she joining the Spider-Verse as one of the best woman hero characters in Marvel history, she's also playing President Barbie in Greta Gerwig's Barbie. Number 8. Brian Tyree Henry is back as Jefferson Davis, aka Miles Morales' dad. The role That's that made Henry a star was in the score? series Atlanta. He's since been given a Best Supporting Actor Academy Award nod for his role in Causeway. He also plays Fastos in Eternals. Number 9. Miles' mom is also returning to the Spider-Verse this time around. You may recognize her voice actor Luna Lorenzelez from the popular series Oz and Dexter. She previously appeared in other fan-favorite ABC TV shows Ugly Betty and How to Get Away with Murder. Number 10. If you recognize the Indian version of Spider-Man, aka Pavitra Pravakar's voice from somewhere, and Spider-Man isn't your only fave Marvel hero, we have a feeling that you recognize actor Karan Soni's voice from Deadpool. Soni plays Dopender in the franchise. He's voice acted plenty of times before, playing Caspian in Disney's Strange World, as well as appearing in the popular Boss Baby and Trolls franchises, to name a few. He currently plays multiple roles in the TBS series Miracle Workers. Number 11. Spider-Man fans of course know who Vulture is. Well, he'll be played by Yorma Taconi, who played the Green Goblin and Spider-Man from Earth-67 in Into the Spider-Verse. Taconi is a famous writer and actor. Among his many writing and acting TV credits, Taconi also has quite a bit of voice acting under his belt that you may recognize him for. He played Shakespeare in the Lego Movie, Gabe Benson in Gravity Falls, and Batman in Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, just to name a few. Superman and Spider-Man? Not many people can claim both those acting credits. Number 12. As for impressive acting credits, Shea Wiggum, who plays George Stacy, aka Gwen Stacy's dad, also has quite a few. He's known for his role as Eli Thompson in Boardwalk Empire and has also appeared in Perry Mason and Waco The Aftermath. He's been in the films Joker and the Fast and the Furious franchise, and he's joining the Mission Impossible franchise in Dead Reckoning Part 1. Which actor's portrayal of their character are you most looking forward to hearing? Which casting choice is your favorite? Let's discuss it in the comments. And for many more videos like this one, it's time to like and subscribe to The Things Animated.